is in a very, very vulnerable situation with no ability to hide. True Blood's big finale, is Eric really dead? We have the answer. Last night's final episode of season six was intense, violent, and if you're a fan of Eric's, then well, it was depressing. After much speculation that he would be killed off, it seemed like it actually happened, at least for a cliffhanger's sake. As for whether or not he really met the true death, I don't think that's what happened, but producers weighed in on the big finale, and while they definitely confirmed Warlow's death, they couldn't exactly say the same for Eric. Take a look and listen carefully to the wording. Eric is a character who you might think has had no compassion or sense of commitment or love, but he did. His investment was in his sister. He goes back home and he's really just checked out. And one thing that he's critically unaware of is that the blood that is in his body that allows him to walk in the daylight becomes ineffectual once Warlow dies, and Warlow does die. He is in a very, very vulnerable situation with no ability to hide. He has no choice but to burn, and he does burn. Burn, yes, but did he die? I think somehow he was able to sink into the snow and preserve himself. Wishful thinking, perhaps, but it's a possibility, right? Some people also think that Pam could have showed up in the nick of time. Also, a good theory. Oh, and yes, Alexander Skarsgård definitely went full frontal nude in last night's episode. I just don't think that was his big send off though, not after the way the show dedicated so much time to Terry when he died. As for Sam, I guess he's the mayor of Bonds Hall though. What are his qualifications? I have not a clue. Tara and her mom seemed to have rectified somewhat, but I'm a little worried her mom was infected with Hep V. I hope that's not the case though. As for Warlow and Sookie, Warlow, like I mentioned, is definitely dead. Bill is trying to regain Sookie's trust, and I think we saw a different side of him last night, don't you? I mean, he was willing to die for her safety, and at the end of the ep, he offered her protection. Here's the thing though, strangely, she's back together with Alcide, what? Not sure how this is possible since Eric glamored Alcide during season five and told him to think that Sookie was disgusting romantically, remember? Will that even last though? Don't get your hopes up. Producers also weighed in on that situation. Take a look. All I know is they look domesticated and they seem to love each other, so that can't possibly last. There's going to be some shift there, but it's nice to at least start from that place. You need protection. She's got me. We're not good enough. <laughs> and there you have it. As for season seven, all I know is that Hep V will play a major role in the upcoming season, which is not set to air until next summer, as in 2014. Let's talk though, did you like the season finale or did you hate it? And do you think Eric is really dead? If not, what do you think happened to him? And am I crazy for thinking he's alive and still wanting him to reunite with Sookie? Sound off below, get creative, have fun, and then make sure to like this video and subscribe for more True Blood spoilers and other TV news. In Hollywood, I'm your host Katie Krause. Thanks for watching and bye for now. You guys, before you go, you guys have a lot of opinions, especially on the last story that we posted about True Blood. It was the episode 10 promo, and Anne Levine said, worst finale ever. It was too rushed and not thought out thoroughly. Eric and Morlo, come on, I am definitely not watching next season, yikes. Selena Tasha said, I'm so happy Warlow has been killed. I never liked him from the first place and he was no good for Sookie. And I'm glad that Sookie as is with Alcide, okay. And then Manga X, Game X, Shows X, Movies Freak, whoa, that's a crazy username, said, Eric, he did not die because we did not see a dead body. We just saw him burn. He can be hurt, but he will be back at least an epic moment. I think you meant he'll be back for an epic moment. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you thought. Thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.